I have learned from scripture and I have learned by experience that no matter what is present in your life, if the presence of God is not part of it, you do not have anything. No matter what is present in your life, if the divine presence of God is not there, then you really do not have anything. Hallelujah. According to scripture, very quickly, we learn that there are three dimensions of God's presence revealed to men. Three dimensions of God's presence. The first dimension of God's presence is found in Psalm 139. We'll read from verse 7 to 12. It's called his omnipresence. Psalm 139 from verse 7 to 12. He says, Whither shall I go from thy spirit or your presence? And whither shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend into the heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. We're reading to 12. If I take the wings of the morning and I dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall your hand lead me and your right hand shall hold me 11 if i say surely the darkness shall cover me even the night shall be light up even thy night shall be light about me yea the darkness hideth not from thee but the night shineth as the day and the darkness and the light are both alike to you what a god omnipresence his ability to be everywhere that is the first dimension of his presence that presence is a life-giving factor to creation there is no place where the influence of god cannot reach his omnipresence the second dimension of his presence is found in matthew chapter 18 and verse 20 his matthew chapter 18 and verse 20 i call it his emmanuel dimension god with us it says for where two or three are gathered together in my name there am i in the midst of them where two or three are gathered provided they are gathered in my name they can be gathered for another agenda they can be gathered for just some sort of sociological gathering but if they are gathered in my name he leaves us with an assurance regardless the feeling that he is there in the midst of his people this is why we know that he's here he's not just here because we are falling down he's not just here because instruments are being played he's not just here because we are feeling and shaking the authority of scripture the bible declares that where two or three are gathered in his name that he is there but my interest for tonight and for this conference is the third dimension of his presence is called his shekinah exodus chapter 40 from verse 34 we'll read to 38 exodus chapter 40 show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest will you show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the footsteps of jesus we want to enter your eyes there is a formula that is able to attract and capture the manifest presence of god in a life in a destiny this is what the lord wants to reveal to us that although two believers can be born again but it seems as though some people have mastered the art of capturing very superior dimensions of God. The Bible is full of men and women, full of institutions, full of nations 
that by a spiritual technology we're able to capture God in a very rich dimension divine presence he says then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation this was the tabernacle in the wilderness and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle and Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle 36 and when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle the children of Israel went onward in all their journey 37 but if the cloud were not taken up they journeyed not till the day it was taken up last verse for the cloud of the lord was upon the tabernacle by day and fire was on it by night and the sight of all the house in the sight of all the house of israel throughout all their journey can you imagine that this was not a parable can you imagine that one day this reality actually happened on earth that men and women were able to capture the presence of God in a very rich dimension you know until you have a revelation of the the value of a thing the pursuit of that thing may not be there the energy and the impetus are we together now if I tell you the value of a job to your well-being then it will sponsor and give you the energy to want to look for one until we understand the value of divine presence that the Lord walking with a man the ability to have to host to attract and to retain the presence of God is the richest asset anyone can have on earth are we together the manifested presence of God the Bible is full of the privileges and the advantages that show up in the life of any individual and any people who are able to successfully host the presence of God. I will run through a few scriptures to show you the things that happen in the lives of men on account of the fact that God was with them. very very powerful genesis 39 very quickly maybe three or four for the sake of time and then we establish a few things and pray genesis 39 this was the story of joseph we'll read verse 2 genesis 39 and verse 2 that joseph was in prison and yet here's what the bible has to say about him and the lord was with joseph and he was a prosperous man so there is a relationship between the presence of God and the prosperity of the saints. To prosper means to excel. To prosper means to do well. That the reason behind the prosperity of Joseph, even though he was in prison, there was a factor that distinguished him. The Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man, the Bible declares, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian regardless the fact that he was not an Egyptian there was a distinguishing effect of the presence of God upon him and he was a prosperous man let's go to verse 21 same chapter in verse 21 39 verse 21 again the Bible says but the Lord was with Joseph so prosperity is tied to the presence of God number two the lord was with joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison that when a man truly desires mercy and favor then god must be with you because the lord was with a young jewish boy god showed him mercy and even showed him favor even while he was in prison are we together number three exodus chapter 33 from verse 13 i'm running through scripture to show you the value the value of the presence of god exodus 33 13 and 14 
Now therefore I pray you. Moses is praying. If I have found grace in your sight. Show me now thy way. That I may know thee. And I may find grace in your sight. And consider that this nation is your people. Verse 14. Hallelujah. And he said. The gift I will give you. To end this confusion as far as leadership is concerned. The gift that I will give you. These are a stiff necked people. They will not listen to you ordinarily. But here is the secret to your rest. My presence. God is speaking to someone already. My presence. More than your skill. My presence. More than education. My presence will go with you. And as a result I will give you rest. Is this not what you are looking for? rest from all the troubles and the vicissitudes of life where you lie down and you can't sleep he makes me to lie down in green pastures his presence connected to rest when jesus showed up in john chapter 8 and verse 29 here's what he said john chapter 8 and verse 29 jesus when he showed up here's what he had to say he said and he that sent me is with me my father had not left me alone for i always do the things that please him he that sent me is with me i don't need to fear i don't need to fear i'm not alone when he sent me he went with me the bible says the lord and his spirit had sent me are we blessed let's look at two more scriptures daniel chapter 3 and verse 25 daniel 3 25 we'll just read 25 for the sake of time remember the three hebrew boys shadrach meshach and abednego the bible says on account of their allegiance their refusal to bow to this 90 feet stature that was built they said, O oh, king, we will not be careful to answer you in this matter. Our Lord will deliver us. And the Bible says they made the fire seven times hotter to the extent that those who threw them were burnt. And yet these gentlemen entered into that fire. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no heart for the form of the fourth is like the son of god three men thrown but they suddenly saw the fourth man the divine presence it was the same presence that was with daniel when he was in the lion's den let me tell you this the cure for fear and the ability to pass through life and pass through challenges and they look at you and they may never you bring you went through this yes sir the presence of god has a system of immunity it can cover you are we together now yes immunity in first samuel chapter 18 and verse 12 i wish i had time first samuel chapter 18 and verse 12 Do you know there is a dimension of reverence and honor that comes to the life of an individual when you carry divine presence? Read with me, please. Verse 12. Ready? Please read. And Saul was afraid of David. Why? Because the Lord was with him. How can a king be afraid of a young, harmless teenager? What did Saul see? that made him a young boy what would david do to a king but the lord was with him there is divine presence you can carry and every devil human and spiritual the fear of you will come upon everyone is a spirit of reverence there is an aura of reverence upon a man when you carry divine presence now isaiah 43 this will be a safe landing place tonight isaiah 43 from verse 1 and 2 let this be a prophecy for someone and let it be a word of hope for someone but 
now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. Fear not. In spite of the times that we live in, fear not. In spite of the noisome pestilences, fear not. In spite of wars and rumors of wars, fear not. In spite of the fear, what will happen to my children, fear not. For I have redeemed you, he says. I have called you. Even by name, you are mine. Verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Just verify if I am there. Once I am there, stop being afraid. Even if the boat is going up and down, check if Jesus is there. If you find him, even if he's sleeping in the boat, find rest. Trouble starts for you if he's not there. If you are alone, then you will be afraid. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. That's the only assurance you need. You don't need to verify if the boat is working correctly. You just be sure that I am there. When you pass through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through fire, thou shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. And the simple secret is I am with you. I am with you. And the Lord walking with them confirming the word with signs following the lord walking with them that's the secret divine presence i learned this in life and i learned this in ministry and the presence of god became and it still remains my highest pursuit and my highest obsession i assure you the presence of god will give you what money cannot buy the presence of, give, of God will give you what your background cannot give you. Divine presence. The rich asset of God's presence, the Shekinah of God at work in the life of a man, at work in the life of a woman. One time this timid disciple called Peter listen carefully Peter was just an ordinary fisherman but this man had been with Jesus so much he had received a rub off of that presence a time came the Bible says that same man his shadow it was not his shadow it was the effulgence of the presence of God from him that he passed people who were ill who were sick divine presence The one thing that Satan will fight in the life of a believer is the presence of God. He knows what happens to you when you, the presence of God is not with you. The Bible says, and Cain departed from the presence of God. The psalmist knew this and he said, cast me not away from you. you I, I would give up the throne, but cast me not away from your presence. He says, and take not your spirit from me. When God walks with a man, when a man can secure divine presence, it becomes a secret to an invincible life. You will experience dimensions of victory and favor in a way that you will not imagine. When you carry divine presence, men will be compelled to help you. They will be compelled to support what you stand for. It's a charm-like sense of attraction. Even you, you will not be able to explain. Why are they interested in me? Presence. Let that presence come upon your business and you will marvel and wonder what happens. Let that presence come upon your ministry. It will not just be the oratory. It's not just what you are saying that there is a glory that is upon it. Let that presence come upon the work that you do. Was it not under the influence of that presence that a rod that had no root, yet it budded? A rod that had no root. Don't tell me you are not connected. I don't know anybody. A rod without root, it was not connected to the earth. Nothing produces until it is connected to the earth. That was the instruction. But in God's presence, the rules are, there, there's an exemption. That a rod not connected to the earth. If you are that rod, even if you are not connected to the earth, you can still blow some. Because you are under the influence of that presence. Hallelujah. 
the glory of his presence resting upon you distinguishing you bringing beauty and honor and glory to your life in a way that will marvel you but for tonight very quickly i'm not just interested in marketing the presence of god alone but i hope by the spirit of god that god will help us to show us the protocol there is a protocol for accessing divine presence as important as the revelation is if we just stop in celebrating the possibilities that come when he is there it may not profit us we must there must be a road map a pathway that can lead anyone from where you are to that realm where you are able to access and attract divine presence if you're with me say amen can you pray in the spirit in one minute lord open my eyes to see open my eyes to see Open my eyes to see. Shalakato sadly brandeko shidaka hasiakata. Open my eyes, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a protocol. And there is a formula that can help men carry the presence of God many years ago when I knew that the call of God was upon my life I prayed a sincere prayer I said Lord do not send me with just a sermon do not send me with just a message the world that you're going to be sending me to need more than a message more than a sermon there must be a divine backing the reality of your presence producing tangible results edging your impact in the life of the hearers the listeners cutting across the time and space and blessing people grant me access to the gift of your presence and then i had an encounter please listen in one of these encounters I had a voice and he said son from today I give you my presence as a gift and then all of a sudden I look in that vision and I'm seeing this being standing like an angel and he said this angel will walk with you and I said what is his name and the voice said he's called the angel of the Lord's presence I don't mean to brag but when it has to do with the issues of the presence believe me I know what I'm saying the signs the wonders prosperity increase influence chasing after these things directly is a waste of time is going to be a journey that will inevitably end up in humiliation the secret is to seek him when you find him everything connected to him will come it will gravitate towards you divine presence is the key it is the pursuit that is worth our time and worth everything but what then is the formula how come certain people seem to carry very superior dimensions of God's presence when you listen to them it's like there is a touch of heaven upon them you know that this is not a man talking alone hallelujah Jeremiah 29 13 the lord is speaking to me that there are three people here he's been trying to call you his call is upon your life but he's been trying to draw you to deeper levels of intimacy and the lord is saying he brought you to this meeting because it's time for you to know him in a deeper level more than church more than religion more than a sunday service i don't know who that person is and those people but i'm speaking to you this is by the spirit the lord is saying it's time for the distractions in your life it's time for these distractions please help them there are many distractions clamoring for your attention 
but the lord is saying that all i want is to help you know me because when you find me all the things that you are seeking for that men claim to be able to give you they can only be found in my presence now i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me yeah. The first key, please listen to me. The first key, if you really want to host the manifested presence of God in your life, by the way the issue of the manifested presence of god has nothing to do with being in ministry it has nothing to do with being a man of god apostle prophet pastor at all the first key is an encounter that produces a hunger and a passion for god love love only desperate lovers of god will be able to host this dimension of his presence and ye shall seek me and only find me when ye seek me with all of your heart so there is a relationship between presence and your heart remember the discourse between jesus and the woman at the well the samaritan woman the discussion started with the issue of water and eventually the issue of worship came into it are we together now and he said you people worship what you do not know for salvation is of the jews and then jesus said the hour is coming and now is first john chapter 3 and verse 18. he says my little children let us not love in word empty talk neither in tongue but in deed and in truth so when you say god i love you he says i'm watching beyond your confession there are indices i love you means i prioritize you listen carefully i love you mean i prioritize you when you love a person or you love a thing the first index is priority you will always have time for what you love you will always have time for who you love i am busy is the excuse that begins to reveal that something is wrong with the love equation i'm busy you know things are no 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 it's not true if you really have time if you love a person and you love a thing the proof is the investment of time are we blessed number two there is no genuine love without giving the spirit of true love must reach out there must be something that comes out of you as a token of investment in that relationship your time your resources and solomon loved the lord that was the beginning and he proved his love by giving a thousand bond offering not because he wanted to show people he was wealthy the love of god is able to drive you to do things that show that lord i love you this is for your house giving for god so loved the world that he gave forget about what he gave in this case his only begotten son who is now the first begotten of we the brethren if you truly love you give if you truly love you give the spirit that focuses on taking is a selfish spirit love gives love gives love gives true love is focused on giving not just what i will have back in return it's investment that gives 
and and focuses on the returns is that true when you invest you are waiting for the return but when you love when you give your your whole your whole life revolves around the object of the love not what you will get lord you see what i'm doing for you don't forget about me you are god most times those things look very spiritual but that thing is an investment it's just a business whether you bless me or not can i really leave you i love you more than this i wish i had time i would have shown you a very interesting parable in scripture the bible says that a few people were hired to go and walk some went to walk in the morning and the basis for their walking was wages not their love for the owner of the husband man are we together now they negotiated for a denary all right you go and walk and then at the 11th hour he saw some people sitting down and said why sittest thou idle and he said no man employ us he said go to the vineyard they did not negotiate money they went because of their love and trust for the person at the end of the time they paid all of them the same and the ones who started early were angry they said no we started working since morning and he said your basis of coming to work with me was salary i gave you these ones went to work without any negotiation now i choose what i want to give them this is a mystery in the spirit so you come to god and say lord i will serve you provided you give me three cars you will say fine that's a deal i will honor it but someone comes to say lord you took me from the wilderness if i never get anything from you i am grateful and god says you are doing this for me now let me decide what your reward will be when mordecai saved the king it was not because he wanted to be exalted Haman was focused on all kinds of gifts but mordecai did it because of his love for the king but payday came the chronicles were opened and he said what shall be done it is when when a rich man decides how to bless you that is good news for you because sometimes you yourself will not know how the kind of blessing that you think should come to you that's why it will look like god just picks people from nowhere like we say no no is the reward for lovers there is wages for workers but there is the reward for lovers again there is the wages for workers i agree with you oh god these are my terms and god says fine but someone else says lord i love you there is nothing there is no one who compares with you i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure when i worship you my lord mm. are we together you want to attract the presence of god you want to be sure of his shekinah walking with you backing you and clearing ways for you the secret is not to use god don't use god to get things don't use God to make a name. No. Love him sincerely. Love him genuinely. Love him truthfully. You see why I was blessed when I came in. And Pastor Nath was leading in worship and everywhere was just saturated. But you see, as powerful as that atmosphere was, the Holy Spirit would come and scan the motifs of men. He knows that men are very deceptive. So while you are crying, he looks beyond your tears and looks at your heart and finds out that there is a big jeep there that you are hoping to use that tears to get. And he will love you for the diligence to... Don't, please don't be... I hope you are not offended. Or he checks there and he finds out that there is a desperate promotion. That's what sponsored that rolling. And he says, no. But he comes to someone and finds himself. Your heart reflects his face back to him. This is why I bow down. This is why I wake up in the morning. Primarily. Every time I have the privilege of talking to the Lord, I tell him, I say, Lord, 
you have been good to me if you never bless me again i still owe you my life and i owe you everything sincerely and this is not just some preachers talk because i'm holding a mic it is true and then you step back and watch the lover of your soul when god reveals himself as the lover of your soul you know the bible says jealousy is the rage of a man when you truly become that bride according to scripture the assignment of the bride is to adorn and honor and promote and honor her husband and then when you've done so as that faithful bride then he shows you he's a responsible husband he does not show you he's a responsible husband by buying things he gives you his name he gives you access to all that he has so we're gathered here tonight and many following from around the world challenging ourselves that even though we live in turbulent times we live in times where filling our lives with petitions and desires become it it looks justifiable we must return to the place of security true security we must return to the place of his presence we must love him sincerely christianity is not just a religion that mandates that you follow a founder called jesus christ no christianity is a desperate relationship is a pursuit i'll forever be chasing after you with my entire life lord i'll be chasing after you no matter how far you lift me i'll still forever be chasing after you ah regardless the crown of my head i'll be chasing after you no matter what name you give me i'll forever be chasing after you someone make that your commitment tonight lord i'll be chasing after you whether it's from the wilderness i'll forever be chasing after you i'll be chasing after you so when you sit on that throne and men look at you and give you the credit for such an amazing life successful in business successful intellectually successful in terms of family well behaved children rest round about and they say what is the secret to this kind of life are you not a nigerian and the flesh would want to use the opportunity and make a name for itself and quickly you remember that i'll forever be chasing now you still go on your knees as a ceo yes sir i'll be chasing after you i'll forever be chasing after you i'll be chasing after you we're going to pray shortly i came tonight hoping that god will infect you with a hunger and a passion yes you will receive yes you will be healed yes you will experience breakthroughs i tell you he calls those things children's bread children's bread as big as it looks he still calls it children's bread i want to know you i want to seek your face i want to know you lord I want to touch you. I want to hear your voice. I want to call you Lord. More than preaching for you. I want to know you. I want to see your face. 
I want to know you, Lord. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul? To the song of all song, the songs of Solomon. Would you dance with me, oh lover? of my soul to the song of all songs divine presence making the difference causing everything around you to flourish divine presence when the rain comes then the plants begin to blossom and grow when the rain comes that rain of his presence upon your life upon the wilderness please listen to me more than principles i am a teacher of principles i am a teacher of mysteries but no mystery and no principle will replace him the presence If it's not in your presence, if it's not by your hands, if it's not by your spirit, don't let me have it. For everything I need is in you. It's in you. It's in you for everything I need is in you the Lord brought me here tonight by the grace of God to charge our hearts I mean it when I tell you this there are certain levels of infirmity that have been sent I'm not even talking of COVID-19 wicked evil diseases that come as devourers, that come as wasters, that come as destroyers. There is no amount of drug supplement on its own that can drive spirits. It can correct body parts, it can help the body function well. But there are spirits that only the presence of God can drive away. Divine presence will profit you all wise. There are arrows that fly by day. You wake up in the morning in peace and return with trouble. You have no business. Conclusions made in the realm of the spirit where you did not participate but you become a victim of it. The presence of God becomes like a shield. Shala katoskiapa. Enchantments against you, against your children. That this woman will not live past 2023. And while all that rubbish is going on, you don't need to know. You don't need any dream revealing anything. Let the presence shield you. You will walk in the presence of your enemies as though it did not exist. There is an immunity. No matter how accurate you are, you cannot know who is against you and who is for you. The presence is what secures you. Arrows that fly by day. Noisome pestilences. It was quite a turbulent flight coming. Quite a very, very turbulent flight. I think probably one of the most turbulent flights I've had in a very, very long time because of the weather. I tell you sincerely, I was sleeping all through. God is my witness. My heart did not beat once. All you need to do is verify is Jesus there? If he's there, find rest. That was the mistake of the people. That's why Jesus rebuked them. Let us go to the other side. And he was sleeping. And when the, a storm of wind, the Bible says, it became boisterous. If those guys were patient, would have seen something about God we never knew. Jesus was sleeping. Will he die in the storm? Maybe we would have read something else that happened to the boat. But their unbelief, when he woke up, he said, people, even if you don't respect 
the boat. Respect me, the fact that I am in that boat. There are times you may not come out of the storm. Just be sure that Jesus is there with you. Find rest. Ah, and the angel appeared and told them there shall be no loss. And they were led safely to the island called Melita. In the name of Jesus, I speak to someone. I don't know what may be happening around your family, around your children. Maybe there is a woman of valor, of virtue, of excellence. There is a mother here under the sound of my voice. You came for this conference whilst you are sitting down. You are not even listening to what I'm saying because of the load on you. Find rest. His presence. Apostle, you don't know what they've said about me and my children. You don't know the trouble that my husband has right now. I'm holding a document from his office. He may not even last July. Who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? I believe him. Divine presence. When he holds you, when he, he is there, you can find rest. Apostle, I lost a lot of money through the pandemic. My shop, my business, right now I don't even know. There are kidnappings everywhere. I'm not even sure what school to send my children again because I don't know where it's safe. In truth, you may not have the kind of safety you desire. Territorially speaking, the only place of safety right now is the ark. That ark. When he beckoned on them to enter that ark, the rains came. And yet there was safety. Can I tell you this? I say it with every sense of respect and every sense of responsibility. No matter how responsible a parent is, there is only so much you can do to protect your children in the times that we live now. You can send your child to school. You can take care of that person, but your child is a free moral agent. He can still turn and become something that you may not like. But if you secure them with that divine presence, you can go to bed no matter what you hear. The Lord is speaking to someone. Please find rest. You are already having high blood pressure because of all kinds of worries. What will happen? What will happen? He says, which of you by worrying can add a cubit to his hair? worrying is not what will pay the rent we are not irresponsible people when we teach these things we know that these needs are real we know that the challenges in the times are real in the cross in the cross be my glory ever till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river the keeper of israel does not sleep he does not slumber he's watching over you watching over your family watching over all that concerns you more than you can even watch yourself find rest please prophesy to yourself my soul find rest one more time say my soul find rest yes over the financial issues over your children over your ministry find rest let his divine presence give you rest you know let me tell you this tomorrow hopefully we're going to look at those aspects when the presence of god if you can capture the presence of god There are many things that you need that you do not know. The assignment of his divine presence among other things is to scan through your life and find out the things that are needed for life and godliness. Whether you are aware or not, the divine presence will keep introducing them till your life looks like the Garden of Eden. Beauty and glory. You may not even know that you need certain things because we see in part and we prophesy in part you may be focusing on the things you feel are the ones that move you forward but when his divine presence comes it's like a scanner oh this person does not have enough joy this person i see there is a threat to his long life i see there is a threat to this and his divine presence begins to make all these things available you will find things in your life you did not remember praying for how did they come and god said when you invited me you also invited those things 
when you invited me you invited joy unspeakable even full of glory when you invited me you invited judgment over the wicked when you invited me you invited speed when you invited me you invited favor when you invited me you invited breakthrough when you invited me you invited influence when you invited me you invited fame when you invited me you invited prosperity from whence come at these things oh god and he says they come with me you seek them individually you may find them with side effects side effects of the loss of your spiritual fire side effects of your passion for god side effects of valuable relationships but when you seek him you find everything is that not a good bargain rather than seeking money in a way that will make me leave god lose relationships with your family and at the end of your life there is nothing in your life that was worth the pursuit i rather seek him truly with all my heart love him truly with all my being follow hard after him more than what this life can bring and then in that hunger and in that pursuit loving him sincerely you attract divine presence john 14 21 let me introduce the next point and then we'll pray john chapter 14 the second key you want the manifested presence of god in your life he that hath my commandments and keepeth them not just is aware of them and keepeth them he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me so shall be loved of my father and i will love him and will manifest myself to him is it there in your bible will manifest myself to him why because he keeps my commands let me tell you this truly god invests superior dimensions of his presence in the lives of those who truly seek to obey him the passion to please god is a secret of attracting retaining securing his presence that all about your life is what brings glory to him glory to him hallelujah everything about your life seeks to bring him glory you don't have your own agenda for your glory i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king i want to be where you are gotta be where you are wanna be where you are gotta be where you are whilst you're sitting i'd like you to pray just two prayers for the night i'd like you to cry before the god of your salvation lord everything that has stolen my heart away from you in this conference i pray a restoration of my love and my fire please pray we're wrapping up you're talking to the lord of glory the king of your life is someone praying let this be from the depth of your heart please pray we're done for tonight pray i will lay down my idols and thrones i have made and all that has taken my heart i will lay down my idols you're praying the thrones i have made and everything that has taken my heart sing lord i will bow lord i will bow to you to no other God but you Lord are you praying Shalans Ali Katapraduya Lord I will worship you 
nothing hands at me but you alone. please pray take my heart and mold it take my mind transform it take my will conform it to yours to yours oh lord to yours we're well, praying Lord, I hand over everything to you. Please pray. It's not a foolish prayer. We just have two or three minutes. But let this conference be a rich one. I love you with all my heart. Nothing and no one sustains the ability to take your place. Halan salabragados yetekete brother. Please pray, please pray. Give me your carry me. Holy Spirit, carry me carry me to the place of prayer. Carry me carry me to the place of hunger. Carry me. Carry me, oh. Holy Spirit, carry me, oh. carry me, oh. Holy Spirit, carry me, oh. carry me, oh. please spare me two minutes. You are in this place, you came for this conference. Please listen and you are saying apostle even though i know that time is gone but sincerely my relationship with jesus christ i need to make jesus lord of my life there are others who may be saying i gave my life to jesus but in the last one year in the last two years my life has gone haywire the vicissitudes of life have pushed me wherever you are for the sake of time still respecting the covid protocol i'd like you to come and stand here very quickly i want to pray for you we have just one minute Holy Spirit, carry me. while they are coming while they are coming please listen we're going to pray for ourselves every mother here this is a women conference so please permit my bias for the mothers you're going to pray for your husband and pray for your children lord they become seekers of divine presence is someone praying i will never be the mother of an arm robber i will never be the mother of an evil person i will not give birth for trouble no i like you to pray the covenant of your presence with my children with my home with my business pray in the name of jesus COVID-19 will not take the life of my children. In the name of Jesus, preservation by the Spirit. While they are coming out, if you need to rededicate your life to Jesus, come stand here. But while that is happening, please let's pray. We came for a conference. Mention your children by name. Mention your siblings by name. In the name of Jesus. Divine presence. May your presence give them jobs. May your presence give them children. May your presence give them influence, wealth. Hallelujah. He says, for with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. I love you. I live for you. I'm passionately following you but there is the lost and that which drives our hearts away from his commands 
we want to host God's presence in very great dimensions we must commit ourselves to pleasing him number three for this morning the third key is that if you desire truly to host the presence of God and to live perpetually in superior dimensions of his presence you must cultivate the atmosphere of intense prayer and worship the atmosphere of intense prayer and worship Psalm 95 please verse 1 to 7 worship is a very powerful spiritual principle that helps to bring down and retain the manifested presence of God Psalm 95 oh come let us sing unto the Lord let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation verse 2 let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with Psalms for the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods in his hands are the deep places of the earth the strength of the hills are his also the Bible says the sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker the last verse for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand today if you will hear his voice you know jesus made you know uh, i think it was um paul that made that reference if you hear his voice harden not your heart and so on and so forth but the idea is that you will never truly be able to host the presence of god until you are a worshiper indeed first with your life and then the art of worship you invest time you see let me tell you something about worship what this gentleman is playing for instance it just looks like sounds but even though your mind may not understand it because your mind has not been trained to understand this until words are put in it you may not understand how be it what you are hearing that just looks like just a flow of sound these are languages in the spirit and your spirit man is able to understand it just like tongues when you pray in tongues your mind is unfruitful however your spirit is edified you must create an atmosphere in your home in your office you must find time when you invest in cultivating that atmosphere for his manifested presence God's presence does not show up everywhere he is everywhere but his manifested presence there is an atmosphere that allows for his presence to come this is very important psalm 100 verse 2 popular psalm 100 verse 2 psalm 100 verse 2 the bible says to serve the lord with gladness and to come before his presence with singing imagine what happened here at the time of worship imagine what happened here yesterday at the time of worship now imagine if that becomes a regular practice as far as your christian experience is concerned there was an evil spirit that came upon Saul scripture records and Saul had that evil spirit and they brought this young boy called David and the moment David began to play to play the harp the Bible says that evil spirit had something he was hearing more than music there was a voice that that melody carried and the evil spirit had to exit praise the name of the Lord so when you saturate your atmosphere many of us come from different um, African backgrounds and there is no traditional festival that attempts to bring spirits that music is absent in is that true there will be a system of conjuring music people dance and dance until they come on that an intense influence of spirits then they begin to prophesy or they begin to perform some sort of magic some extraordinary manifestation but it will take time remember when the king made a 90 feet statue of gold he said until you hear the sound of music when you hear the sound of worship then you bow worship is powerful as far as the presence of God is concerned 
Psalm 63 from verse 1. Psalm 63 from verse 1. The contemplations of the psalm is, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek you. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longs for you in a dry and a thirsty land where no water is. To see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. You don't just worship with your heart alone. Your lips. Your lips. First, I will bless thee while I live using my lips for as long as i live it's not only my heart that will praise you it's not only my money that will praise you my lips will also be an instrument of worship he says thus that way as long as i live i will lift up my hands even unto your name hmm. so you wake up in the morning and the first thing you hear it's not all the noise around the world that in five minutes can dampen your faith and you say god are you still alive imagine waking up to such worship your atmosphere is saturated by an intense presence of god and there you are on your bed or on your knees and technology has made it easy there is no excuse whatsoever And you just soak in that glory worship is playing like this father this is just to tell you i am grateful thank you for the gift and the blessing of the morning to be among the living is an honor i will not take for granted thank you jesus i love you i bless you i love you and god says who is calling me who is calling me there is a sound that my soul delights in you see the bible says whoever you serve that you become a slave to that person let me explain to you what that means that means frequency makes anything you do become a custom in the spirit and an altar is established around that activity that means if i steal it may not be that a demon spirit came upon me to steal i just use my will to steal but if i steal again I'm attracting the spirit that empowers theft. My frequency will make that spirit say someone is calling me. One day I will put my hand to steal and that spirit would have come to rest upon me. I will not be able to stop stealing again. Are you seeing how it is? The same way with prayer. You may go to pray. You don't feel empowered. But you continue doing it. Your frequency is attracting the dimension of the Holy Spirit that is the spirit of prayer and supplication. One day you will go to the place of prayer. It will no longer be you again. From that day you will not be able to stop again. It will become like an initiation. Frequency of activity builds a spiritual altar around that activity. And the spirit mandated to empower that activity will certainly come to you. It's a spiritual principle. It's more than a habit. So when you get up in the morning, Lord, I love you. I love, I love. This is your morning. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your presence. By the next morning, you will be surprised that almost at the same time, because you have shown the Holy Ghost that I have prepared this time for you, I've invested it. He will come to honor it. He will wake you up. No matter how tired you are, he will impart strength. The first few days you say, ah, do I have this strength? You may not be able to sing, but let the worship play. You are attracting that dimension of the Holy Spirit. A time will come in your life, even if you sleep by 4, if it is 4.30, He will wake you. And there will be strength. One revelation that will come from that 30 minutes encounter can be the next 10 years of your business. The next 20 years of your business. You are just worshipping Him and you come and you tell you, look, A, B, C is not profitable for your growth. This is the strategy. This is the way. 
his presence worship is powerful we must invest time in truth the average believer has the resources and the opportunity to create that atmosphere of worship if you are interested in are we together a person in experience eventually met the lord so worship and prayer these are powerful spiritual keys please look up worship and prayer are powerful spiritual keys that help people to access divine presence you can teach your children they will come and meet you worshiping you don't even have to tell them to do it they will join you one day and then it becomes a culture i worship you i bless you you know there are many families that practice this whether it's early in the morning or evenings they gather people as a family and do it but most times when the devil sees that level of unity and spiritual growth he will bring up activities that distract that kind of unity everybody becomes busy occupied and the moment that happens is okay everybody you just go and worship your god by yourself you open the door and you find everybody sleeping that backsliding will start gradually until it gets to a point where rather than a worship song you're going to see children playing video games or browsing i'm not saying those things are wrong but i'm telling you there is a time for everything if you don't give god attention you will never truly carry his presence i'm sorry to say it, but this is one of the plague bedeviling this generation the distraction of the misuse of technology it has eaten up everything god in church while a sermon is going on like this the holy ghost is coming to bless people and you'll be surprised to see what someone is doing just browse ah don't worry how are you i'm in church are you fine i noticed you were not happy yesterday how many minutes in god's presence the value of his presence when you really want to spend time praying you don't pray with your phone on your hand and checking the devil knows what to do to your mind just one text message just one information ah, i thought the alert entered what is this reversal for that prayer has stopped now you see you must shut everything and say lord this is me and this is you i have come if you do not lift me i cannot be lifted if you do not bless me i cannot be blessed i know that i have myriads of issues but i'm not here to come and make a lot of noise i am here for you and he says you love me that much you honor me that much then it's time to lift you to a new dimension we must trust god for grace in the name of jesus from this conference to create the atmosphere for his presence are we together yes we can challenge ourselves find people there are great worship people in this church they can put a compendium of worship songs powerful worship songs you can have them in a flash have them in your device and you just play technology has made that there's no excuse the remote can be with you while you're lying down so there's no you can wake up struggle for 15 minutes eventually you are up and then you can pray I'm not telling you what I don't do. This is my life. Sincerely. 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 You can fake power, but you cannot fake genuine relationship with God. You cannot fake genuine presence. No. And when you stand on stage and call him names that you are not used to calling him in the secret, it will be clear to the listeners that you are just pretending. Oh Lord, you are Alpha, you are Omega it sounds strange there is no frequency in the usage of that name there is no genuine connection are we blessed so love and passion and hunger for god a committal to pleasing him through obedience and then number three the atmosphere of prayer and worship I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice. 
take joy my king this is not a special number in what you hear and let it be a sweet sweet sound listen we're wrapping up while you are there worshiping God is waking somebody and saying, have you forgotten this person? It is two years you are supposed to. You are not praying that. Oh, you are just fellowshipping with him. When his presence comes, while you are there worshiping, he's searching your life. I'm seeing that there is a financial issue. There is an embarrassment about to happen to this family. For the sake of my name, I will not allow this shame happen. You are there worshiping. I'm telling you, this is how it works. And someone will stop his sleep and wake up you are done worshiping and you see six missed calls someone who did not call you in five years where are you uh, I was having some time with God please first thing in the morning come to my office and you say Lord what are you doing and he says you go and see this is what I do to those who love me this is what I do to those who place value on my presence you will receive many people's prayer requests as a gift that a lover gave you for loving him. Whilst you're worshipping, that pain, sometimes you can be worshipping with a medical report in front of you. Lord, can the dead praise you? This is a medical report that is threatening this relationship that has been for 35 years. 35 years of worship every day. Now there is a report of cancer. Now there is a report of some kind of thing. Will this thing kill me and then not give me an opportunity to praise you? And God says, who is coming to stop a voice that I've heard every day? You would find out people's testimonies who were healed, not because a man of God prayed for them. No, it was their business with God and he just came to them. Who is like him, lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Mountains bow down, and every ocean rose to the Lord of Lords. I will praise Adonai. Listen. From the rising of the sun till the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints sing praise. There was a time I locked myself and I prayed and worshiped the Lord for 72 hours my eyes did not see the Sun I did not come out I was not asking for oh God do this now I remember a vow that God made to me after that time that is still speaking till tomorrow I'm not saying you have to do it that way I'm just telling you that there is nobody who rises by mistake the priority he says he that honors me I will honor he that despises me i will lightly esteem this this is truth this is scripture last song and we're done with this morning service you're all i want can you stand on your feet yeah. you're all i've ever needed you're all I want. Help me know you want me. Let it be your prayer. Oh, you're all I want. You're all.
last year at this conference I spoke about the book of Esther and I revealed a very deep mystery that I want to use to finish this first service the difference between Vashti and Esther was that one was focused on the agenda of the king the other was focused on her agenda Vashti was using royalty to enthrone herself and when the king sent for her she forgot she was only queen because she married a king it was not her that made him queen it was marriage to a king that made her to be called queen oh king don't send for me i have my own empire and the king said the elders came to advise the king he said if you don't drive this woman out of your palace all our wives will start doing the same thing esther was almost making that mistake and Mordecai said, Madam, remember someone was dethroned for you to sit there. If you really want to continue reigning as queen, focus on the king. Oh, bride of Christ, hear me. The secret to remain seated, oh Esther, is to not make the mistake of Vashti. Vashti was using the king to satisfy her need. And one day she woke up and found out that the crown of royalty was no longer on her head. But let me tell you this it was worship and consecrated attention on the king that brought her man down lifted mordecai also there is power when you forget yourself and focus on him it's not irresponsibility it is trust it is proof that you know that he's not irresponsible both as god and as your husband hallelujah all of the worries and the cares if you are to pray and everything you are saying is lord you see this issue of a job you see this issue of this but i'm not here to complain about my many struggles by your spirit and your grace listen I'm confident you'll solve them, but I'm here to say I love you. I'm here to say I adore you. I'm here to say. I love you, I love to love you more. We're wrapping up. Do you know there are some times that you just play these worship songs and you fall asleep and in the realm of the spirit you keep hearing them. Your spirit man is alive and this time around you are not only hearing them you are acting you are living in the reality of what you are hearing and you will have deep encounters you will wake up under intense dimensions of God's presence you will carry anointings you will carry graces you just wake up and know something happened to me the person who went to bed is not the person who has woken up favor is upon my life it was a song that was about favor. It was a song about his presence. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. To the Father through Jesus. Listen to what you're saying. And give Him the glory, great things. Two prayer points, and we're done in this morning service. We just have about three minutes. Prayer point number one lord restore my hunger and my love for you restore it please pray i'd like us to join our mothers 
join our aunties join our sisters in prayer restore lord when i was a teenager there was a way i walked with you when i was a young adult there was a way i walked with you i don't know what has distracted me out of that formula that pattern restore me back oh god in the name of jesus someone is praying restore me restore me restore me restore me I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you it's all about you Jesus I'm sorry Lord for the things I made when it's all about you it's all about you Jesus Jesus be the center of my life that's my prayer Lord Jesus be the center of my life ah. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always be you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, nothing else matters. Nothing in this world will do. Jesus, you're the center and everything revolves around you Jesus second prayer point father in my life in my home may your presence be made manifest to drive away everything that is not Jesus to drive away every trouble please pray I stand as the matriarch over my home our mothers pray I stand as the homemaker I invite you come to my home come to my home drive away darkness drive away misfortune everything that is not christ must give way hallelujah god is not only love god is light and john 1 5 says the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not there is nowhere in scripture where light tells darkness to go light comes and darkness must leave so when you host that level of his presence if you have a little light it may not light this entire auditorium but the level of illumination is the extent to which darkness will run away when you carry heavy dimensions of god's presence there are many evils and many nonsense that the devil brings around your life i tell you it will it will wave them in a single sweep worship i decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the christ roaming around your life your home the life of your children programming misfortunes joining the heads of family members together whereas there should be peace and progress in the family every time good things are about to come you see that these spirits come again with negative cycles of trouble here at this conference in the name of jesus who is the exalted son of god we banish them forever 
we banish them forever in the name of Jesus Christ every manifestation of darkness that wants to steal your heart and your passion slumber gluttony distractions we decree and declare this conference it lives your life forever and I pray for you finally in the name that is above all names everything that needs to be solved in your life in a hurry to give you time to focus on God because you see there are times sincerely so sometimes the overwhelming nature of these troubles they don't give us the concentration to focus so it is valid many times to say Lord take this load off my life so I can spend time worshiping you if that is your desire I agree with you that in the name of Jesus may your needs be supernaturally met so that you will have the time to worship the time to serve in the name of Jesus the son of the living God hallelujah that every planting that is not of the God of heaven right now in the name of Jesus my God such a strong anointing moving from seat to seat the Lord is rolling away burdens right now I rebuke devils of infirmity in the name of Jesus migraine headaches all sorts be healed right now all kinds of lumps all kinds of growths in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a breast lump the left side of your breast in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you be healed right now there's someone I'm sensing you have a pain your left this is your left limb I don't know something that has to do I don't know if it's a bone condition or muscle in the name of Jesus right now I stretch my hands be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost heart palpitations be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now be healed right now there's someone I don't know if it's that I'm not a doctor but you are always having insufficient blood in your body in fact one time they had to transfuse blood it's like you don't have enough blood it's like there's something that just keeps taking away the blood in your body a miracle is happening to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit there is a pattern of sickness this is not just one person it's like everyone in the family recurrent sicknesses mother has it children have it in the name of Jesus I break cycles I break cycles demonic patterns in the name of Jesus Christ praise the Lord please can we have the prayer requests please everyone I want you to be just just help her thank you please I like you to be very spiritual and sensitive we are here for just a few minutes but it can be a defining moment in our lives if you're yet to submit your own please just wave it you don't have to come up just wave it please let's have a few ushers just help us if there are overflows you can those online don't worry you can connect by faith the presence of God let me give us one last key we began to discuss the principles and the protocol of his presence the factors that help men capture superior dimensions of his presence the overflow here I just saw light on two people please hold them they would be running up and down just shouting just hold them I'm seeing an impartation the Lord is breaking circles of delay two people this is what I'm seeing please just help them circles this is a pattern in the family no matter how hard working it looks like you are at the same position the power of God is breaking that right now 
please don't miss your moment in the name of Jesus there is a strong anointing that is coming upon you help them when the power of God will come on them you just hold them so that they don't have to injure themselves the Lord is saying I should break there is a spirit that kills the men in a family the men masculine gender just keeps dropping them down in the name of Jesus every covenant on any family here in the name of Jesus I break that covenant by the power that is in the name of Jesus oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory the spirit that kills men in this family I come against you now in the name of Jesus Christ please sit down oh shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will keep down lie you will tear down coming after me we said the first key was love and passion for God you must love God beyond your necessary food you must love God beyond reputation if you are to host his presence number two the desire to please him with your life and in obedience to his commands number three an intense atmosphere of prayer and worship not just as a one-off act as a lifestyle praising him with your life praising him with your lips and the last key that controls the manifestation of the presence of God in the life of a man is a mystery called sacrifice Psalm 50 verse 5 gather unto me my saints the Bible says they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice sacrifice here is beyond money the sacrifice of your life the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your resources please pay attention you will never be able to host certain levels of God's presence until your life becomes an embodiment of sacrifice one scripture and then we'll pray first Kings 18 from verse 17 first Kings 18 from verse 17 please pay attention this was elijah thank you elijah and the prophets elijah and the prophets at man camel and it came to pass when ahab saw elijah that ahab said unto him art thou he that troubled israel and he answered i have not troubled israel but thou and thy father's house in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord. Next verse. And thou hast followed Baal. Now therefore send and gather me all Israel unto Mount Carmel. And the prophets of Baal, 450. And the prophets of, you know, all of those people at Jezebel's table. Verse 20. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long shall ye halt be ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. 22. And the people answered him not a word. And Elijah said unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men let them therefore give us two bullocks watch this they are about to end the issue of who is God and the proof is who is able to show up but before then he's talking of sacrifice give us two bullocks and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under 
and I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under and call ye on the name of your gods and I will call on the name of the Lord and the God that answers by fire hmm. my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by the God that answers by fire let that God be God 25 now watch what happened and Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal choose you one bullock for yourself and dress it first since ye are many and call upon the name of your God put no fire on that uh-huh and they took the bullock which was given them listen and they dressed it and called upon the name of Baal from morning even till noon saying oh Baal hear us but there was no voice nor any that answered and they leaped upon the altar which was made now watch this notice what began to happen to them as their desperation grew the power of sacrifice in invoking presence and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said cry aloud for he is a God either he is talking or he is pursuing or he is in a journey what a God or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awake and they cried aloud now when they found out their crying could not call him they switched into sacrifice the last card that brings presents they caught themselves can you imagine they knew that there was something there was a relationship between invoking the presence of his spirit and sacrifice the bible says they caught themselves after their manner with knives and latchets till the blood gushed out of them and it came to pass when midday was past and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice Elijah is about to call God but he knew there was a timing the time of the evening sacrifice there was no voice there was nothing next verse and Elijah said unto the people now you come near unto me they came near and he repaired the altar of the Lord next verse and Elijah took 12 stones you know the story but he allowed them to play around doing everything they did and there was an exact timing the Bible calls it the time of the evening sacrifice there is a relationship between sacrifice and the presence of God and Solomon loved the Lord the Bible says in first Kings 3 and he offered a thousand bond offerings God did not send an angel he came himself he said your sacrifice has brought me here what would I do for you and then he says I need an understanding heart and he said I will give you what you have asked for and I will also give you what you did not ask for sacrifice sacrifice of your time sacrifice of your life are we together now Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 says I beseech thee brethren by the message of God that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice a sacrifice yet is not dead he calls it a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God and he calls it your reasonable act of service some versions will say your act of worship when your life becomes a sacrifice you provide the fire now provide a sacrifice you provide the spirit I will open up, fill me up, God. 
Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. Fire does not come upon nothing. His presence will not come upon nothing. You must become that living sacrifice. You want to carry his presence. You must become a sacrifice. Your entire life. Not just your hand. Not just your songs. Sacrifice of your resources. This is for you, oh God. There is nothing I cannot give you. Sacrifice of your time. You own my life and you own the times therein. Please listen to me. When you commit to a life of sacrifice, in fact, we know this instinctively and by experience that everything of value comes at a cost. There is nothing that is of value that is free or cheap. Even if it is free to you, it was only paid by someone who is not you. The majestic presence of God, the miracle working presence of God, the burden lifting presence of God, the life destiny altering presence of God will not rest upon you until your life becomes a living sacrifice. The sacrifice of your time, the sacrifice of your life, the sacrifice of your resources, everything. You've heard me say the price for all of God is all of you. The price for all of God is all of you. Not some of you. All of you. Everything. You combine these factors together and you're already on a journey to host superior dimensions of his presence. Your love for God. Your committal to please him an atmosphere of prayer and worship and then a life of sacrifice sacrifice to see kingdom come your resources your life your times it's impossible to follow this protocol and not carry divine presence everything that you have belongs to him and it must be a delightsome sacrifice. You give God your singing, you withhold your money is hypocrisy. If he's Lord, he must be Lord of everything. You give God your money, you withhold your worship and your heart is hypocrisy. He must be Lord of everything. It all belongs to you. Oh, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Oh, hallelujah. Now, let me tell you, in as much as it is true that when we seek God more than the need to solve our problems we seek him because we love him but he's benevolent enough to not leave our problems to go back with us this is the God that we serve that more than solving problems our desire is to love him and to live for him however he said if you being evil know how to give good gifts if he's a faithful and a responsible father, he will not just come to watch you roll before him and then go back the same way and leave you. No way. This is about the most accurate representation of our burdens, our challenges. I may not have the time to prophesy. I may not have the time to minister to people individually. Even if I do, we see in part and we prophesy in part. But this is a representation. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, be anxious for nothing. Scripture declares, it says, but in everything, in everything, 
the cure for anxiety be anxious or careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says let your request be made known don't just assume let it be made known and in this second service we have come to say lord we love you but there are issues in our lives lord we love you but we live in times that require your power lord we love you but do not let my children continue this way i love you but my health i'm holding a death sentence while i praise you only the living can serve you jehovah jireh is my provider your grace is sufficient for me jehovah my provider your grace is sufficient for me my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory he shall put his angels charge over me jehovah jireh cares for me so in the next few minutes that we have i want you to sit back and watch the wonder walking god the one who will not leave you the way you came the one who in one moment one moment one moment can turn the captivity of years this is not just a preacher's talk the God we serve is a mighty God when you do your own part then you step back and then he will show you that he's the mighty one what is this that ailed thee? Lord, years of pain. A medical report that will not bow to your name. See, the woman with the alabaster box was not just breaking. She did not just break a box of spikenard, a year's wages. No, she took all her shame and put it in that alabaster box. She took all her frustrations. She did not just break the jar with perfume she carried her everything like you have brought it before the lord and when he received it everything that represented shame and reproach in her life rolled away we're going to pray but the few minutes that we have especially for the women and by extension all of us and for those following online honestly the power of god is real when the presence of God shows up, he shows up with his power. There is no president that comes alone, even if he wants to visit you. There is no governor that comes alone. Any even senior executives, they move with a convoy. Those convoys have all kinds of provisions. They may have a medical team working with them. They have all kinds of systems of correspondences. They have all kinds of things. Will God really come and come alone? Oh no. He comes with his lifting. He comes with open doors. He comes with keys. He comes with a balm that is in Gilead. That's why I told you, just calling those things one by one. There are times, imagine that you want to call the commissioner for this, or the minister for this, or this and that. You want to call the chief security officer. You can call them all, but look at that burden. Just call the president. When you call the president or you call the topmost executive in the capacity of his office all the rest are mandated to follow him they will follow him and they will come together is that true yes if the president or any senior government executive or company executive is coming in the capacity of their office they would come with the full entourage and he is here with the angels here with his spirit here with his power to reach and to bless now whilst you're seated in one minute 
I'd like you to just pray and say, Father, turn my life around, change my destiny. Please open your mouth in one minute. Begin to mention the specific things. Some of you are praying for your children. Some of you is a health issue. Financial issues. Legal issues. Let's pray. You are the covenant keeping God. Keep praying. Ah. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You are you are the covenant keeping God. Yes, he still wipes tears. The covenant keeping God. Yahweh. The covenant keeping God. Yahweh. The covenant keeping God. For the last time now. Salatas Kalabarakatusia, the covenant keeping God Yahweh, the covenant keeping God Salabarata Gadabalakatusia, the covenant keeping God Job forty two, verse ten. The Bible talks about a man called Job whose wife at a point told him, look, I love you, but with the reality of what you've gone through, please curse God and die. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Joshua Selman. When he prayed, and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before, Let's see how he did it. Next verse. 11. Then came there unto him all his brethren. The ones who left him all. A grace came on Job and began to call them back. And all his sisters. And all they that had been his acquaintances. Before. And the Bible says he did eat bread with them in the house. Verse 12 and they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the Lord had brought upon him and the Bible says every man also gave him a piece of money every man help that lady I'm seeing oil coming on her head this one placing her hand on her face in the name of Jesus that captivity over your life is rolled away now you came to church the Bible says I was glad when they said unto me everything that is not the planting of God I join my faith with the pastor the angel over this house I declare in the name of Jesus it leaves your destiny now it leaves your destiny now every planting activities of witchcraft wizardry upon your destiny bringing you shame and reproach in the name of Jesus may the power of God come upon you I command that devil to leave you now I'm praying for people in the name of Jesus everyone here under any kind of chain here at this women conference any chain that has held you held your children held your promotion held everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus break break lift your voice and begin to pray I break that chain over my destiny I break that chain 
over my children. I break that chain over my career by the presence of God. Shalabagada brande kete paruta siata. Shalakete paretu siata la rahasi. Hallelujah. We don't have all the time and I must respect the time given. But I'm seeing a woman here. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I want you to rejoice. Because this is, there is a big miracle. There is a big miracle. There is a big miracle. A big miracle that I'm seeing happening. You see, before you believe a man, find out about him. Don't just believe for nothing. There is a name oh, that is above all names. I'm seeing oil being poured on that lady lifting her hand at the back. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord is saying, captivity is over for you. Over for you in the name of Jesus. Over for you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is showing me I'm seeing something happening in an office. This is a discussion happening on how to remove someone that is already, this is what I'm seeing. Like a discussion happening to remove, like relocate the person maybe to another part of this nation from Lagos. And this is wickedness. I stand by the God of heaven. Anyone who is laughing with you in the open, but going behind you to conspire for your downfall in the name of Jesus, by this conference, we clear them out of the way. Hallelujah. The Bible says, withhold not good from him that it is due when it is within your power. I'm sensing in my spirit and the Lord is saying I should pray. There are people, there are things that are supposed to have entered your hand. For some of you, maybe financial resources. You played your part, but individuals and institutions have refused to release what must come. Shapakata. Embrekete parousia. Entelisa siketaba. In the name of Jesus, help them please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Whoever is holding what must enter your hand, I prophesy to you, overturn, 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 till it enters your hand. Overturn, 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 till it enters your hand. Overturn, 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 till it enters your hand. Help this woman. I'm seeing some. Help that woman. This will not be before the end of June. I'm seeing a major breakthrough. This woman under the anointing. I don't know you, man, but I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Before the end of June, you will never forget this woman's conference. Again, I'm saying it. Whoever is holding what should enter your hand, that God has already commanded, whether it's a job, whether it's your finances, whether it's an opportunity, I stand by the rod of the prophetic. In the name that is above all names, I command it to enter your hand. Please help them. Shalika paroto subakata. Embrekete skele baruto siya. All our walk on the road is turning things around. Yeah. All our walk on the road is turning things around. Yeah. All our walk on the road is turning things around for my good. One more time. All our walk on the road is turning things around. presence of God I want to pray for you there was a grace that came upon the ark of Noah 
and without him calling the animals every one of them found their way to the ark God wants to take away this yoke of looking for things going around there is a grace that can come on a man believe me the same grace that made the animals obedient they left wherever they were imagine that Noah went to look for them one by one I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus with the grace of God upon our father here and the grace of God upon our father Baba Deboe in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare whatever must enter your life wherever it is right now across this nation across Africa we call it by prophecy we call it help them please we call it by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I hope you are not tired listen please we are going to cause delay listen it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of other people finish if the bridegroom came early all ten would have been honored are we together now the Bible says they were all virgins but the delay of the bridegroom the unit of destiny is time. I want to pray for someone. The delay of the bridegroom. Haratu Ziata. Listen. One man, Joseph, pleaded with him after solving his problem. He said, please, when you go to the king, don't delay me here. Talk to the king. One man's forgetfulness added two years to another man's life. I pray for you. Everything that has made you forgotten, I stand by the God of heaven and I open the book of remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the book of remembrance be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. night could not Hazarus sleep and he said bring me the chronicles when they opened it he saw where Mordecai had saved his life and was not rewarded I don't know who you have helped some of you have spent your life raising people some of you you raise people more than you raise your own children some of them are lifted today and there is a spirit that has turned their face from you I stand by the God of heaven and I declare whoever you have helped to rise I compel them to remember you for good <laughs> I remember talking to a dear man of God who is in politics and one of the few times that I saw an elderly person cry like a baby and he said apostle let me tell you I have helped many people in this nation I was part of their rising I stood by them in truth I helped them sincerely when it was time for lifting as they were recommending me someone will show up from nowhere who has no history of participating in that pain before your enemies get to your helpers in the name of Jesus may a good voice reach them I know a businessman these are true stories and this man helped build and set up a lot of great things and one time they were about to recommend him for something and then here comes these evil people coming again and this is how they push this man there are people here who have spent their lives helping people you are the one who got people born again you are the one who even led them to church when any good thing is about to happen God uses you to lift people but when the reward should come there is a spirit that stands blocking you from that door every door that stands before you every door that stands before you that you will not eat the fruit of your labor I pray by extension to every mother here please listen listen while we were at the rotunda just having some time before we come our, our dear mother here asked me a question and said why is it that many of the youths and the young people are frustrated and I thought closely 
as we we're walking down this place and i said there is a spirit that has been released in africa that wants parents to not eat the fruit of their labor please listen it's a wicked and evil spirit a labor and raise children and all of a sudden you will see a child excelling within a state within a nation and the mother is there mama is there laboring she sold firewood to send him to school he's building houses for people and raising the children of others and blessing the parents of others the hand of Zerubbabel that started this work the Bible says that same hand will complete let me pray for every parent here that in the name of Jesus the spirit of rebellion that the devil will want to put on your children to make sure they either don't listen to you or don't end up blessing you I scatter that operation of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ I know this is a women conference but please permit me to pray for our young people and bless them it is a cost to sit down and be waiting for your parents to die so that your life will find meaning it's a dangerous and evil spirit don't feel offended this is a conference it's our mothers that put this together to bless the body why will you sit down and be waiting you are anticipating let my father die let my mother die so that i can fight over some property it is a joy of every parent to see their children rise in their lifetime and excel father whatever is making our young people to mark time at the same level for many years i stand by the god of heaven and here in this church every young person hear me in the name that is above all names by prophecy i push you into your destiny i push you into your destiny a life of dignity a life of relevance a life of dignity a life of relevance a life of dignity a life of relevance hallelujah praise the name of the Lord one more prayer point and then we we'll pray over this request God is a God of portions that means it is not God's desire for you to be the one serving people forever a day should come listen a day should come understand what I'm saying please this is with respect to establishment a day should come when God should also carve your own niche and honor you so that you can own start your own life this was the mistake Laban refused to allow Jacob go because God is a God of portions when you serve for a while then he settles you and now you build your own tent yourself then raise others too then they will raise others too that's how you perpetuate blessings that's why blessings are not perpetuated in Africa because people are not raised Laban refused to allow Jacob to be established he conjured through divination to find out that there was something on Jacob that was responsible for his blessings there's nothing wrong with people paying you or blessing you but there are some of you here you are the only one out of 12 people who is doing well there is still trouble though. you are still not free are we together now no matter how much you are making if you are only one out of 12 people the truth is that you are going to go through stress that may kill you young is that true do you agree with me so it's not enough to pray that God lift me you must pray God lift those who are around me too this is one of the cure for jealousy bitterness envy if all the brothers of Joseph had dreams too all of them would be partners in progress but because only one person had a dream the brother said we'll kill you it's an unpleasant discussion and I apologize but there are some of us here as you are standing the war between you and family members extended relatives simply because of what God is doing in your life you can't have peace to enjoy what God gave you ah you marry a rich man and you are forgetting us and you are saying what is all this 
africa makes you feel guilty for being responsible they make you feel guilty for doing well it's not enough to pray that you excel you must pray that all who are around he said as for me and my house and my house we will serve the lord me and my house we will prosper me and my house we will rise me and my house we will not be the ones begging people i know you are standing for a while i apologize i want to rebuke a spirit here there are families here nobody has ever been a leader everybody remains a servant from father to mother to younger ones the only place you find in life i'm not just talking of serving like kingdom service i'm talking of slavery out of 10 children eight children seven children nobody lifts up his head because there are horns zechariah 1 18 these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against jerusalem against judah and against Israel so that no man doth lift his head in the name of Jesus if there is any covenant tying any family down that the only way you will eat is by being slaves I stand by the grace of God here at this service and in the name of Jesus we declare those ordinances are broken forever those ordinances are broken forever those ordinances are broken forever hallelujah thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence the destruction that wasted in noon day armed robbers want to steal a car they wait till you pack your own just when you pack it here they come they want to arrest people for something they wait until your child just shows up then they carry him and it is you will be too late for tragedy in the name of jesus christ whenever trouble will show up is minus you minus your children in the name of jesus christ job said he will deliver you from six things one of it is the scourging tongues of men anybody saying let's see what will become of them they will see forever yes. hallelujah are you ready to pray we're going to pray i believe in the power of prayer i have a covenant of answered prayer with god that's why i pleaded that we pray over this request because we desire that you never forget this conference that you will remember that here at this women conference this was where I submitted an impossible request and the God of heaven arose and did mighty things for me provable manifestations of his presence I'm going to bow my knees to God here you may not kneel but just stretch your hands and let's agree let's call upon the God who answers prayers I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood. Eternal saving blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. Eternal sins, Shalabaradusia Talakatosia. I don't have to. 
there is an advocate you Jesus the righteous the listen to me it does not matter what the cause you see they came to Jesus and they say who seen that this man was born blind was it his father or him and he said neither but that the glory of the Lord be revealed we come by the blood over this request father in the name of Jesus here at the King's Court here at this women conference this is a representation of the tears of many the pain of many the shame of many the disappointments of many the expectations of many the long-standing issues of many father for some people these are death sentences for some people these are issues of grievances for some people these are long awaited expectations but in the name of Jesus God you who answers by fire arise oh mighty one breathe upon this request turn them into testimonies in the name of Jesus 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 every spirit responsible for the issues represented here by the blood of the eternal covenant we decree and declare let it give way now hear me any human agent in fraternity with spirits and are responsible for the pain written here by the God of heaven we declare vengeance and judgment vengeance and judgment vengeance and judgment Luke 18 it was a widow who came and said avenge me my adversary and for a while that man would not avenge her but for her importunity Lord I bow my knees alongside our mothers the women of excellence that you have so ordained and we cry on behalf of every request here turn it into testimonies some of the requests here are here because you refuse to hear God God spoke and you did not listen we plead the blood and we declare mercy some of the requests here are here because of mistakes that people have made in the name of Jesus we plead the blood some of the requests are here because of the manipulations of men and spirits in the name of Jesus Christ we declare liberty forever father every one here who has written a request that has been appointed to death untimely death we bow our knees to you and in the name of Jesus we close the mouth of the grave please say amen we close the mouth of the grave hallelujah there are spirits that refuse to allow resources enter the hands of people they work diligently they give their best but rewards do not come we call upon the God of heaven who is a rewarder of men in this season may the dew of heaven be open for you in the name of Jesus Christ may the dew of heaven be open for you for some of you the request you have written here is not even for yourself it's for your children the devil wants to wage war and scatter your family but in the name that is above all names God who is also the keeper of Israel may he be the keeper of your home in John 17 Jesus prayed and said all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and that that scripture may be fulfilled everything and everyone God has given you I declare they are kept in the name of Jesus 
and I pray for the women in this church and by extension every woman who is watching from around the world women are gates in the realm of the spirit we decree and declare the voice of women will not be silenced in the name of Jesus particularly the women in this church we stand to announce to you by the spirit foundations of sapphire in the name of Jesus step into seasons of favor step into seasons of lifting 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 that when men say there is a casting down for you let it be that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ therefore we declare the fire of God falls upon this request they are turned into testimonies marvelous testimonies marvelous testimonies marvelous testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ it says weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David let me speak to you whatever has brought tears in your eyes I know that in the last one year it's been a challenging period but in the name that is above all names I decree and declare your season of crying comes to an end your season of crying comes to an end your season of crying comes to an end the Bible says go weeping and just for a night it says joy comes with the morning we declare that the dawn of a new day happens for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and for everyone connected to you who is not here because you are here in the name of Jesus we send angels to homes we send angels to continents where your loved ones are represented and we declare that the same grace and the same testimony here may it rest upon them for good in the name of Jesus two more prayers and we're done let me pray for your spiritual life no matter what you have if you lose the presence of God you lost everything there are people here your prayer life has gone down in truth your word study life your passion for God it didn't used to be like this you used to have a hunger as an individual as homes as families don't feel guilty the hair of Samson can grow back we decree and declare in the name of Jesus every altar that has been void of genuine fire the fire of his presence let there be a resurrection now let there be a reignition now let there be a reactivation now in the name of Jesus Christ father we pray let sons and daughters rise from the king's court noble men and women kings and queens in music in business in ministry in politics in corporate life in the name of Jesus Christ shame and reproach remains far from this church shame and reproach remains far from our mothers in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now let me encourage you as you return back home please take the time to just celebrate God ideally after prayer like this you wash it down with the sacrifice of praise that's how you seal things and thanksgiving it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your request known so Lord we thank you in the name that is above all names and let me sincerely celebrate and thank and honor and truly appreciate the executives of the foundation of Sapphire and Pastor Bensa and the entire King's Court thank you for the love it's always an honor every time the Lord grants an opportunity to serve Jesus in this capacity it's been a brief time but I believe a fruitful one together we go from glory to glory from grace to grace oh by the way allow me to steal one minute and we speak peace over Nigeria how could we end without this? 
in the name of Jesus the voice of violence the voice of wickedness from state to state and region to region we stand as the body of Christ the women stand as wailing women the ones who stand upon the walls and we decree and declare Nigeria God's Jerusalem shalom to you shalom to our children shalom to our institutions shalom in government shalom in churches shalom in our marketplaces the sounds of war the sounds of languishing the sounds of death the sounds of evil in the name of Jesus will be far from our territory in the name of Jesus Christ the truth is that this nation needs help Lord help us we can't pretend to have all the answers the days of arrogance is over it is clear that we need help help that only God can provide and so we call upon the helper of men this is not the first time he is a master over darkness Lord I stand in faith and we cry over Nigeria we extend it to Africa and even the globe let there be peace for your namesake in the name of Jesus God bless you and thank you